Hi, I'm Mosik and you're watching Artist Life. Thanks for coming to my studio. Today I'd like to talk to you about this palette knife, how easy it is to use this while you're painting, and I'd like to share with you some of the basic techniques that you as an artist need to know. So before we get started, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please go ahead and do that. So if you're ready, let's start. Okay, so I am ready to show you some techniques with uh, palette knife and the canvas panel that I have in front of me is five and a half by seven. So let's start, come on. So I went ahead and did my drawing and then the gray tint that you see um, on my drawing is, um, is done with paint and now I'm using my palette knife just to uh, pull some paint around and the color that I'm using is gray. I took, um, I took black, white and blue and a little bit of sap green in this case just to um, create this color that you see. And uh, if you notice, I'm trying to stay nice and neat around my drawing. And um, I am using the back side of my knife versus the front side. So um, typically you would use the back side when you're actually applying paint on the canvas as I'm doing right now. As you can see the way I'm holding the knife um, it's very simple like you would hold a stick and um, that's how I'm holding this knife. So adding a little bit of warm colors and then eventually what I would like to do is um, start mixing my colors on my canvas. Now I'm forcing myself to use one size knife but I think what I'll do later is I'll switch my um, knife around and I'll go with a smaller knife to do some details but right now I am just trying to hold on um, with my drawing and as I apply the paint on the canvas it's all being done with one size knife as you could see. If you notice I am constantly pulling my knife whether it's sideways whether it's um, like across like I'm doing right now and or downward like that trying to hold on to my drawing uh, so no matter what I do I try to constantly either apply paint or sometimes shuffle the paint around from one area to another okay and as far as creating unnecessary textures I know that some artists love to go in and just create all these cool textures but in this case I don't have to um, the background itself is uh, more of the secondary factor when it comes to this painting so now I am using uh, this warm color uh, I made with um, cad red a little bit of alizarin uh, so it's sort of like a mixture of a few colors and uh, a little bit of sap green and as I apply it on the canvas um, it tends to uh, mix with uh, what I have already on the canvas so I'm doing a lot of wet on to wet in this case so now as I apply the yellow I am using more of the tip of my palette knife versus what I was doing before and that was using the back side of my uh, palette knife so uh, more like the tip versus the flat side of my knife Okay, so now um, applying a lighter shade of yellow and I've done this with the use of titanium white and cad yellow. Alright, so 
Um, my focus right now is on uh, darks and lights. So if I want something to really stand out, I am adding um, a lighter shade of yellow. And as you can see, uh, when things do become really wet, um, you can actually start applying one color on top of another on the canvas uh, versus mixing the color first and then applying it on the canvas. So I've switched my knife now. I'm going with a smaller tip knife. And uh, this is so that I can have more control um, over the drawing. And sometimes what I can do is I can take the paint, the wet paint that's on the canvas and move it around throughout my canvas in different parts. Like, um, like what I'm doing here, I'm, I'm more or less moving it around versus applying paint. So with this orange right now, and then the white on the side of the chick, uh, as you can see, creating a highlight and um, things are very rough. So now, time for the feet. Okay, so if you notice, I'm using the side of the knife. Um, not the flat side, but the side of the knife. And uh, if you notice, I did lose my drawing long time ago. So in reality, I am uh, drawing more with the knife. Okay, so just applying more uh, darks underneath the um, the feet. So as you could see, I am accenting uh, with dark colors in certain parts of, uh, of this chick. And then here, um, I do have the neck portion. So if you notice now, I'm just moving the paint to cover up my little mistake that I did. Okay. And this is the beak. This is going to be the beak that I'm working on right now, as you can see. So, applying lights and darks to uh, hold on to the image, and here's the little eye, and here's the other one right here. So where the neck area is, I am darkening it so that I can emphasize the separation and now I am pulling the paint uh, from one area to another to cover up my mistakes. So right here. Maybe trying to de diffuse, I guess, certain areas that I don't like. And I am simplifying it like right here. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little demonstration uh, with palette knife and uh, once again if you have not subscribed to our channel uh, please go ahead and do that and make sure you press that uh, like button and uh, until next time happy painting bye